A new presidential endorsement for Republican candidate Governor Ron DeSantis could give him an edge. Amidst a crowded GOP field, Republican Iowa Governor Kim Reynolds has formally endorsed him, saying, quote, I believe Trump cannot win. Analysts say her endorsement is a rare admission that the Republican Party may be worried about Trump's chances of winning after his loss in 2020. In recent months, DeSantis has been falling, though, behind the presidential pack in key battleground states, fighting alongside Nikki Haley and Vivek Ramaswamy for that number two spot behind frontrunner, the former president, of course, Donald Trump. Here with us now for more insight, we bring in Pete Snyder. He's a DeSantis donor, CEO of Disruptor Capital. Uh, Pete, thank you so much for your time here. You know, DeSantis has been consistently somewhere at the top of the pool of second place, of course, behind the former president. What is his strategy going into this third debate tonight? Sure, the strategy is very clear. Get the trifecta and win for the third time. Um, I think most uh, observers, most voters believe that he won the first and second debates. He, as you just said, he's coming off huge momentum in Iowa with a historic endorsement from their governor, Kim Reynolds, the most popular politician in that state. So he's going to win tonight and, and set himself up for a win in Iowa. I mean, uh, he's in a great place right now. He's been a solid number two the whole time. Taking on a former incumbent president in his own party, Nicole, is ridiculously hard, right? And then doing that and trying to take on the current incumbent president, very hard task. So this was never going to be a win by 40 points type of thing. It's more of a March madness. You got to put yourself in position at the end of the game to drain the three and knock out the number one seed. And that's what Ron DeSantis is going to do. You know, Pete, right now, though, it certainly does seem to be this race for this number two spot. Uh, you know, you mentioned the fact um, that many people thought that DeSantis won both debates. Many people also thought Nikki Haley uh, has performed well at both of them, particularly the last. So how is your candidate, uh, Governor DeSantis, really, really balancing this act of trying to continue standing out among this pool of GOP candidates, now particularly Nikki Haley, everyone who's on that stage tonight or will be on the stage, but also standing out from the one who is looming the largest and won't even be there, Donald Trump. I know Ron DeSantis has, has, has called for President Trump to join the debate stage every single day for the past two weeks. The, the, the former president won't do it. Uh, I think it's a disservice to voters. He doesn't want to be there. He doesn't want to defend uh, his record and turning over the country to Tony Fauci. But I don't think there's going to be a balancing act at all for Ron DeSantis. He's going to just do what he does, which is look the American public in the, in the eyes and the voters in the eyes, tell them what he's done and accomplished in Florida and what more so he's going to do to take a country that's in decline right now and turn it around. The world is on fire right now. He's going to make sure that we're not in wars without a real goal and without a real purpose. He's going to bring peace and prosperity to this country. Uh, and I think that's going to make him win in Iowa uh, next year and win the nomination. And you know, and Pete, president. no doubt tonight there are going to be several controversial topics hit upon. Uh, you know, I know abortion will be on that list. During the last debate, the governor seemed to say he would support a federal ban on abortion at 15 weeks of pregnancy. We know from last night's election results, abortion rights are certainly uh, still top of mind for many Americans. Uh, will we see any sort of pivot, do you think, on this issue from Governor DeSantis? Uh, look, he is pro-life and he is convicted about that. So I, I don't, you know, he's not a finger in the wind kind of politician. And that's why the voters of Florida really love him. I mean, let's just, let's face it. It was only what, 10 years ago or eight years ago where people thought that Florida was blue or or, or purple, but, uh, you know, and, and Ron DeSantis has made it bright red. So it's about putting the right policies in and convincing voters to get behind you, not the other way around. We have far too many politicians that just follow focus groups in the polls and, and bend their will uh, with the wind. And that's not what the American public wants. They want a strong leader to take on the challenges of a really crazy world right now and bring America back. Well, we will certainly all be watching. Pete Snyder, thank you so much for your time. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.